Good morning, everybody. It's Susie by the Sea. It is Saturday morning. I know I haven't done a video in a couple of days, and I, I just got me some gro uh, groceries from Walmart. I thought I'd share them with you so I could just catch up a little bit. I haven't uh, been out much to do any kind of uh, uh, content or, or filming outside of the house uh, that would, uh, you know... I kind of messed up yesterday and went to McDonald's. <laughs> I went to McDonald's. I got me a fish sandwich and a six-piece nugget, y'all. Let me tell you something. It wasn't good. It wasn't worth it. And I'm done. Done, done. I'm not going to do it anymore. But I just, I felt like I had, I had been eating at home for like almost two weeks. And I thought I needed myself a little treat, you know. So, <coughs> what is that? On there. Uh-oh, I think I got a leaker. But anyway, um, I want to show you what I got today. I'm cutting down on my coffee. I'll show you that in a minute. Hold on. But anyway, I got me some more protein shakes. Let me open this right here. I got a, it looks like it might be leaking right here on this corner. Let's see if I got a leaker in here. I hope I don't. It's the same color as the protein shake too. Uh, no, it must have been a leaker from another box. No, that's perfectly fine. Okay, good, good. But I bought the peaches, the peach again. 12, 12 bottles, I love these. Um, I actually didn't have one this morning. I had yogurt this morning and I'm still working on this. My banana. <laughs> so, <coughs> yeah, I got me 12 more bottles of this stuff. This stuff really helps me feel better, I tell you. It really, 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 really does. Let me put this, whoops. Put this over here. I think my banana just fell on the floor. Hold on, yeah, it did. Left out peeling on it. All right, now, next thing I got was, you know, I've been cutting back on my, um, let me show you my coffee. I'm cutting back on coffee, too. I'm having one cup a day. This, I found two of these little cups over here that my husband used when he was, when he would go to work and he'd take one with him. Of course, you know, they were still wrapped up and, and tied just, in this tie he used to, to tie up plastic things, it was this a certain little tie he uses. And, um, it made me cry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. And I, I pulled it loose, and I was like, yep, he, he, his last two cups he had right here. So, ain't that stupid? It's just little triggers, little triggers, little bitty things. It means a lot. But anyway, this, these were his cups. I found two of them left, and I used this one yesterday, used one today, and uh, I'm going to start using a coffee cup with a handle to make my coffee, and I'm going to use one pot. i got to cut back, y'all. i got to cut back on my spending. <laughs> So anyway, here's my little cup of coffee. I've been working on it. My banana, and I already had my yogurt. I took my medicine. Here's my water I'm working on. It's so good and cold. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, go back to drinks. I'm trying to get off the sodas, right? Well, I had tried these one time in the in the few in the past. I had bought a couple of cases, and uh name over here <laughs> and um they gave me the heartburn in heartburn bad i was like what in the world I, must have been, I don't know if i was drinking them too fast or they were just too sparkly or whatever and uh, but i like kind of like the taste of them so um this pineapple one here had the highest um bubbly had the highest um customer review so I thought, okay, pineapple's good for this time of year. So I thought, I, try, I like pineapple, so I'll try some pineapple. But these right here don't have any of that, um, no sweeteners, no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. So it don't have any of those phenotropic things. All it says it has is carbonated water, natural flavor. That's it. So I'm going to try some of these kind of to replace, to replace, uh, to replace my, uh, sodas and then that way maybe i you know won't drink so much pit well i'm not drinking a lot of pepsi anyway just you know probably about that much with a, a dinner of pepsi or half a bottle or almost a whole can you know but i don't do it every day i don't so i didn't drink no soda at all yesterday at all so okay anyway here's my bubblies that's all i'll tell you about them and we'll try them again and see if they give me indigestion if they do i ain't gonna buy them more <laughs> all right here's my cucumber Boom. Like I told you, I eat about half of one of these at a sitting. I love my cucumbers. 
These things I got another box of crackers, which I already still got the whole, almost the whole full box, but I went ahead and got another one. Cause they sell out of them sometimes. And get them while the getting's good. You know how things are this day and time. You don't know when something's gonna be there or not. You find something you like, you have to buy two or three of them, you know what I mean? And I think I've said that before. <laughs> I've said that before. I'm gonna do that over there. Yep, you gotta get it while the getting's good around here these parts. This time, this time, you know, the way things are now. All right, I bought me some minced onion. I'm gonna see if I can. Somebody said to hydrate these when you make your uh, Big Mac in a bowl, or your Big Mac, with, you know, with no bread, or homemade Big Mac, whichever one you want to do. They use the, they they rehydrate these and use them as the onions. You know, those little bitty onions that are on McDonald's burgers. Yes, yeah, so I bought me some of them. Dollar twelve, I think was. Yeah, $1.12 at Walmart. And I ran out of garlic, so I bought me some more garlic. Minced garlic. I love to have this on hand. And I, I buy the, try to buy the littlest one I can because I don't use a lot of it. And um, I don't want it to go, you know, bad on me. And this one says it's okay until May the 4th. 2025? What? Well, good grief, I could have bought the big one. <laughs> Anyway, I just buy, I ain't got no much room anyway, so I just try to buy little things. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I got this book. It's in the floor. It's getting on my nerves. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, I bought me some more cheddar brats, but I bought the turkey ones this time. <coughs> and the reason I did is that the other ones have 200 calories per link. And these have 120, so I can have two of these. <laughs> And I like turkey. I like turkey sausage. Uh, uh, what other kind of turkey is? I just like turkey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> so we're gonna try these turkey cheddar brats, Johnsonville. Okay, it says 120, uh, seven grams of fat, three carbohydrates in one. So that'd be six. Um, no fiber, so you can have six carbohydrates in two of these. 50% less fat, made with 100% premium turkey. So when I eat one of these, I'll test it, test taste it, because I've never had them, and we'll see how they taste. All right, I got my bottle of Minute Maid Lemonade. A cold bottle, and this will probably last me 20 ounces, probably last me three, three or four times, probably. But I've been, I've been having this lemonade crave. Hey baby, you playing in the bags? <laughs> I've been having a craving for lemonade lately. So I bought me some of this. Minute made fruit punch. Cause I like stuff like this in the summertime. It reminds me when I was a kid. <laughs> but this bottle right here, Lord, I should have got the little one. 110 calories and eight servings, 30 carbohydrates, 3% juice, 3% fruit juice. Now why would somebody want to give this stuff to their children? Why would you want to feed this bottle of sugar, and I know people do it, to their kids? I wouldn't. There's no way. No way I would give that to my kids. Or any kid, not just my kids. Let's turn it around because it's pretty. <laughs> All right. What else is in here? I bought me a salt and pepper. I think it was 59 cent. Something like that. Hey, Rock. You want to say hey to everybody? You go lay on the bags. You like to lay on the bags, honey, pumper. Are you having fun? Yeah, let me lay right here for just a minute. Yeah, let me lay right here. Yesterday, he was a little bit, he was a little bit not feeling good yesterday, y'all. He wasn't feeling too good yesterday. Poor baby. Mama had to help him. Yes, sir, did. Poor baby. He's better today, though. He got better. He got better after after he got a little got a little sick yesterday. He got better after that. So I gotta stop feeding him so much junk. He wants everything I eat, and I give him a little bite of it. I had give him a Cheeto, a whole Cheeto, about as big as my finger, and he eat the whole thing. He loved them. I think that might have been what upset his stomach. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna stop doing that. You ain't getting no more, no more tables foodsies unless it's white meat chicken. <laughs> Okay, no more tables. 
Uh uh, he scared my mop. He scared me. <laughs> but he's a lot better today. I'm so happy. This sweet little pumpkin. But he started playing last night and jumping and carrying on like he always did, so I knew he was getting better. Anyway, my salt and pepper. Poor little baby. I love you so much. I might wouldn't have nothing happened to you. If it would, it just would tear me all to pieces. It would tear me all to pieces. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I ain't no puppy. I ain't know how it is. Be so sweet. We're taking it. We're taking a, a cat break. Sponsored by Rocky. <laughs> yes, such a good boy. He's so pretty, y'all. He is half Siamese. He is half tabby, half Siamese, which is called a lynx. Lynx. L i n x. Point Siamese. Lynx. Point Siamese. That's what he is. Okay, see you later. And his feet are so pretty on the bottom. You know, they're like little soft cotton ball. The, the back part of his leg right here, it just feels like felt. It's so soft, like a rabbit's foot, kind of. <laughs> yeah, he does. All right, let's get going. They thing we're out with some lemon. Look at him, y'all. Lemon juice. Real lemon. Whoa-oh, uh -oh, I see a tail. I'll we'll knock something over. <laughs> lemon juice. From concentrate with added ingredients. You don't say GMO or bioengineered, so that's good. I just want some lemon juice for some reason. I like it in Pepsi. I like it in everything. I really do. All right. Let's see what's got in this bag. Got some more juices. Strawberry lemonade from Market Site. Boy, that that that. Uh, Mango one I had, oh, it was so good. Oh, it was delicious, y'all. And I drank in three different, three different, three different uh, little settings. I just pour a little bit out in a little cup and drink it, but not every day. But I like to have something like this, and it just it it, it settles the sweet. If I, I don't have too big of a sweet tooth, but if it does, it settles the sweet tooth. I don't buy a lot of candy, and well. I got some candy and stuff over there, but wherever it is, somewhere over there. But I ain't eating it. It's still all, still all over there. Raspberry lemonade. But if I like, like sometimes I think, gosh, I wish I had a piece of chocolate if I don't have any. <laughs> so I'm gonna try the raspberry one. Okay, and I got another one. Yeah, oh, I got another mango. Yeah, this is the best one. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I'm talking. Yes. I think I got another one. Blueberry. I'm getting ready to clean out my refrigerator, y'all. And I'm not going to have nothing in it but these nice stuff, these new things. I'm going to wipe all the sweat off of them, put them in the fridge, and it's going to look like a million dollars when I get done. Yep. My refrigerator's jumped up, and I can't stand it like that. Get in there, you can't find the ketchup, can't find the mayonnaise, can't find nothing. Can't find the pickles, can't find whatever it is, you, stuff in there you're looking for. Aggravates me to death. <laughs> you have to move stuff, it drops out of the refrigerator, hits the floor. You know what I'm saying. I can't take it. Romaine hearts. For my salads. This is not the one I ordered. They had to substitute, but it's okay. Field pack. Uh oh, field packed. Well, I'm about to wash this. I mean to tell you, we're gonna wash it good too. <laughs> God. Keeping your vegetable crisper for ultimate freshness. Rinse and spin dry before using. Yep, see, it even tells you to rinse it. Best if used by 716 and it was packed on 628. Okay. Oh yeah. Last thing is, let me move these out of the way. Last thing is I got me some more yogurts. There's my lid to my coffee cup and put that on there. See it comes with these nice little lids. <laughs> I got me some of the yogurts, is all. I bought me another uh, black cherry. I had one of them this morning. That's what I had. It was so good. Oh my God, it was good. 
170 calories for breakfast. I know it's got sugar in it, but it's still the calories I'm looking at. 170. And sugar, I think my body needs a little bit of sugar and a little bit of carb. <clears throat> I don't function very well if I don't have a little carb and sugar in me. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what it is, but I, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't go. So I thought I'd start eating these. Peach. Peach is delicious. It's got them little chunks. See, it's got the fruit on the bottom. Can I show y'all that? Fruit's on the bottom. Get you one next time you go to the store. Just pick up one. You know, if you're not a diabetic or anything like that. Or if you could have a little sugar or whatever. Here's a, a mocha and chocolate cream. Mm. It don't have no... Uh, it looks like it's got little chocolate bits inside of it. Little chocolate pieces. See little chocolate pieces? Mm -hmm. And then the next one is another peach. And that is all I got from the store. Yay! Hold on a minute. See, look, I want to show you. I buy this stuff and I don't eat it. Whole bag of M&M's. There's that bar that's still got a piece of it gone when I tested it the other day. Whole candy bar. I never touched it. I bought these. I probably have to throw them away. I haven't even tried them yet. These Kaz bars things. Remember those? There's my, there's my honey bun. Still sitting there. I hadn't eaten it. My Butterfingers. My Twix bar. Another pack of M&M's. All my almond joys. See, I don't eat this stuff. I mean, I'd love to come in here. I'd like to, to be able to eat the whole thing, but I don't, I don't eat stuff like this much anymore. It just don't appeal to me for some reason. And I, But I want it here in case I want a little something. You know what I mean? I bet this is going out of date. July 14th, it's still soft. So that's still good. But uh, let me tell y'all something. Y'all tried these if you haven't. If you like coffee, you like the M&Ms and you like coffee. Oh my goodness. Try these caramel cold brew M&Ms, y'all. <laughs> they are so good. See, she's holding the cold coffee in her hand right here. These things are absolutely delicious. And they don't have any bioengineered in them. <laughs> yep. Let me make sure. Nope. No bioengineers in this. Let me check the plain ones. Just just for curiosity's sake. Contains a bioengineered food ingredient. These do. But these don't. Let me read it again and make sure. Nope. Third time I've checked it. Yes, no. <laughs> if you care about that kind of thing. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I don't know. It just depends. But I'm trying to be a little bit more aware, but I just thought I'd let y'all see that I buy this stuff and I don't eat it. There's a whole box of Archway cookies right there I haven't opened. There's my other box of multi-grain crackers right there. It's still about three quarters of the way full. And, uh, and I got a whole box of Little Debbie um, Cosmic Brownies over there I haven't opened. So <laughs> I just do a little bit of time. But... Just kind of knowing you got it makes you feel just makes me feel just a little bit better. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll let y'all go. Um, I hope you have a beautiful Saturday and a wonderful weekend and all that good stuff. And I hope it's pretty where you are and don't get too hot. I know the temperatures has been bad all over the United States. I hear people complaining up in the, up in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, um, uh, North Dakota, Michigan, all up in the uh, even Canada with high temperatures. So. You know, 95 degrees in Canada. I mean, that don't even make any sense <laughs> to me. It don't. I thought Canada was supposed to be like a tundra. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, it is more up north, I guess. But you know what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, I love you all. And uh, like I said, I just want to touch base for a few minutes and talk to you. And I'm going to get ready to clean out my refrigerator. And it's going to look beautiful when I get done. And uh, I will... Uh, I will fit, I'm actually going to fix my, uh, finally going to fix my laundry doors over here too. I'm going to do that today. And I got a burned out light. I got a lamp in there with a burned out light bulb I got to fix. And I got a vacuum. And I've already cleaned up the bathroom and, and Rocky's litter and all that stuff. So, I'm sure there's lots of other things. You know, your work is never done. Work is never done, right? <laughs> okay, have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.